Today I was on my way to Caesars Ford to film a quick nine hole review with the Latitude 64 Grace. That is until I showed up and well, the gates were locked. What the hell? Well, this is highly unfortunate. The last day it's going to be closed. I had a whole video planned today to come to Caesars Ford for the back nine with a new disc, the Grace. I just drove a little while to get to this course, obviously, and it's closed. I had no idea. I probably should look these things up before coming. So now what are we going to do? Of course, I could have waited today and came back to Caesars Ford to play the nine holes that I wanted to, but what fun is that? Also, I'm a bit impatient, and I wanted to still bring you guys a quick video with the Grace. So I headed to the field to do a quick field test with the Latitude 64 groups. Well, this wasn't my original plan, but this is going to have to do. After an hour of driving, it has officially warmed up. All right, guys. So today we're looking at the Royal Grace from Latitude 64, 11.6, negative 1.2. A lot of you guys have been asking me to try this mold out, and I just now got my hands on one. So I've thrown this a handful of times, but it seemed like we were getting some nice flip ups out of it. Hopefully today we can figure it out a little bit more, give you guys a better understanding of how this thing is flying. From what I have read, it's kind of that straighter wraith so maybe some of your guys's beaten in wraiths will fly like the grace when it comes to hand feel this thing feels pretty good i like the royal plastic nice and grippy also the 11 speed feels great in my hand i don't have the biggest of hands so i always feel like 11 12 speeds they feel comfortable in the hand the grace at least this one doesn't have a whole lot of dome to it it's relatively flat and i don't know if that's how all graces are but definitely this one is relatively flat so let's rip this a few times see what we think of it and hopefully show you guys some good flights i don't really throw any shot that isn't on hyzer so we'll start with that nice little hyzer flip now i gotta say the first couple throws i was very impressed with this disc's ability to flip up to flat i wasn't necessarily getting a ton of turn out of it but I also wasn't trying very hard either, and it just flipped straight up the flat and went dead straight. And that was a pretty lovely sight for me because I am a big hyzer flip player. Most of my throws, I wanna be throwing on hyzer. Latitude says the Grace is all about smooth distance. It has the control of a fairway driver, but the distance of a distance driver. And I gotta say, if I'm throwing it like that, I would 100% agree. I felt like I didn't throw that very hard and we got such a nice flight out of it. So seems like that would be controllable. I'm gonna throw another hyzer flip that I am just gonna try to push a bit further. So a little bit more exaggerated of a run up and just hopefully I throw it a bit harder. I noticed this shot was a ton of hyzer and Go. you can see the disc still flipping up to flat. Now this is kind of hurting my max distance because I'm not getting the turn still and that is kind of a me problem. I need to figure out how to throw it a little bit flatter in order to get that turn out of it but even with this amount of hyzer i still got it to go a little bit further than those first two shots coming in right around 370. now that's not a huge shot for me i think if i were reaching 380s to 400s that would be pretty good if i hit 400s i consider that a big shot so i am coming up a little shorter than some of my other discs that i do hyzer flip but again, that's stability and also just needing to learn angles a little bit more. We'll try to get this out a little flatter. I can't guarantee it's gonna come out perfectly flat, but that is the goal. Pretty flat, just nose up, which is why we're kind of seeing it hyzer out a little bit more. Luckily, since it's a rather straight distance driver, it was a little bit more forgiving than other distance drivers are gonna be. It almost still reached the back of the end zone. When throwing some of these more flat shots, what I noticed is I wasn't throwing the disc as hard because I was more worried about getting the disc out flat. Now, with that being said, I still felt like we saw a decent amount of turn. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell because I'll have missed releases like this one where I just completely get over on the disc and it doesn't stand any chance. But I think those first two were decently flat shots, maybe a little bit of wobble here and there. And we still saw some decent turn and some good stability there at the end. It's not like this disc wanted to topple over on us. It still fought out of it. Now we're gonna try to throw it on some Annie and see if we can just hold it over the whole way. Trying to get the grace to turn over the entire time started out a little bit touchy. Throw it too soft and it's gonna do normal high speed driver things and flex out of it. But then I try to throw it a little bit harder with a little bit more angle and then it cut rolls at the end. 
pretty typical of a neutral-ish driver where you really got to hit that angle perfect to get it to turn over the entire way. Even this shot right here, I thought I put it on too much angle and it actually landed perfectly flat. It surprised me. That panned out very, very well. The start of that flight, it looked like I still gave it a little too much, but that time it actually held over the whole way and landed flat. I would take that turnover shot any day. Originally, I just thought I put it on too much. To wrap this video up, I'm gonna give it one more throw just to see how far I can actually throw this thing. So at the beginning, I was definitely trying to put some power into those hyzer flips, but we're a little bit more warmed up now. So maybe we can push it into the 380s to the 400s where I like to be, at least for my big distance shots. <sighs> turn, 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 turn. Might be a little too high. I just feel like that's about where I'm getting it to. About that 360 range, but I feel like I should be able to throw it farther. Maybe get it beaten in just slightly more and then it'll be perfect for my hyzer flips where I can get distance out of it. Right now, it's like, a perfect straight hyzer flip disc but if i really want to get the distance out of it i would have to learn to throw it a little flatter i think all right guys that is going to do it for me in this video with the grace i think this thing definitely has a lot of potential i can see why a lot of people love it i think i need more time with it of course one day is just not enough at least for an hour field session but let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on the next one